In today's world, there are many ways of running a business. Part of the Odebrecht philosophy is to preserve the past while contributing and enriching the communities it serves. One must be an active member and partner of the community. Some recent additions to the Miami area express the commitment that Odebrecht has for the local community. Adrian Arst Center for the Performing Arts of Miami-Dade, Florida International University Stadium, and the South Terminal at the Miami International Airport. But Odebrecht's tie to our Latin American community had them go one giant step further when they discovered that two works of art were in danger of being lost forever. Almost half a century ago, two massive murals depicting life in the Americas were installed at JFK Airport by the famous Latin American artist, Hector Julio Paride Benabó, whose nickname was Caribe. Caribe won a competition to have his artwork installed at the American Airlines terminal in the late 50s, and there it stood for decades, delighting millions of travelers. Caribe became a cultural icon from the 1950s to the 1980s with his diverse work depicting life throughout the Americas. As you travel in the Americas, let your imagination help you hear the music of the first Americans, feel the rhythm of their carefree dancing feet. In fancy, you will be able to see the Indian brave strutting in a pageant, the Aymara performing a devil's dance, the Seminole, wearing jewelry of turquoise. The Incan, whirling in a costume touched with gold. Then the Cowboy, borrowing the stories, blending with songs. And the Jazz Musician, combining it with voodoo, making it his own. Odebrecht's resolve and dedication to community allowed them to move rapidly and save the artwork before it could be removed from the heart of humanity. They partnered with American Airlines and the Miami-Dade Aviation Department to find the murals a new place to call home. Even though the murals had suffered from almost 50 years of exposure, the commitment to restoring them was set. The excitement surrounding the project grew as a coordinated team of restoration experts began reviving the artwork back to its original splendor. The colors and images of the murals once again came alive due to the amazing skills of the restoration team. Once the restoration process was complete, the team carefully created each of the 12 panels which weighed in at one ton each. They transported them to Miami, where the sections would be reassembled and finally installed at the new South Terminal in Miami International Airport. The installation team was composed of art installation experts and architects to allow the best possible viewing and exposure of the Caribe murals. The emotions were high as the final panels settled into their new home. Politicians, craftsmen, artisans, and executives alike felt the depth of what had been preserved for generations to come. The Caribe murals are now home in the community where the Caribbean and the Americans intersect every day to remind us that we are all interconnected and though we are many, we are really one. Ladies and gentlemen, on the eve of the 20-year partnership with Miami-Dade County, we are proud to present the murals of Caribe.